than never. A big summer was on the turf. Workmen were stationing the archers to make sure they were not weak. But the fat conservers didn't want to shut the railway down while work was done. Keep my passengers waiting where your big engines go snow on tall bridges when the workmen are mending the arches. Well, Doc, said Spencer, the reason why we can't cross it tall fast because the bridge is a big weak spot. If we have it across it, it might connect. And you have no passengers at all. What would your door then, eh? Oh, well, it be striking, said Doug. He set off after Spencer's people are in. Bitter was turned to a red after dark. He dropped his passengers off, but they found that when they were heading straight from bus to no train, they would think they were earlier. Archer heard Duck's whistle. Late again, he remarked. Duck came passing, wheezing in ten minutes' time. We may be friends, Duck, but I thought you can go fast. It's time we had a race. I reckon I can beat your mark. Um, no thank you, Arthur. I just need to keep up with time. It's the bridge on the path. I just hope it finishes. One day, Gordon was later than ever at her top station. I'm sorry, Doc, he said. I was held up at the Sydney Harbour Station because 3801 was not well. I had to take a train with men, and the bridge made it worse. Oh dear, not having got days over, said Doc. Steaming off, each 
tried to make up the lost time, but found he couldn't. Shock, he's perfect. His engine is steaming hot. What's the matter, Archer? Asked Doug. You shot the puffy dinner station, and now you're late. I feel dreadful, said Archer, all upset and sad. And Jervis says he can't remember telling him better. Thank goodness you're not at all. Can you take my passengers, please? I'll never get home otherwise. Of course, I will. Bertha can give you all the truth. Things went fine. When Doc took out his passengers home, perhaps being late isn't such a bad thing. After all, he doesn't mind the delays these days. He just pops up with it. Not enough space left. <laughs>